Here we go, chapter two. When playing as Samuel, uh, eventually you'll get your shotgun in the farm area. Once you've done that, you have to run down this long and narrow pathway. This will be going into the mine cart or the cable car lift. Once you enter in the back door, you will get ambushed by a zombie to your left. If you look in the rubbish, you will find the leather deer. I think I made a mistake of adding chapter two videos to chapter one, but either way, if you're watching it from either perspective, it doesn't really matter. So once we enter the hospital, not far inside the hospital, there'll be some stairs to the right where you need to progress downstairs. But if you know that for now, go through the door to the left, you will find a dead nurse or doctor. Interact with the ID or the parcel, parcel, sorry, a file number 10. This is where you find it. So once you head down the stairs, you have to go into the laboratory. Or well, this is Lab 02 on the map. Once you proceed on to the next area. Once you open the door, if you look right, you should find file number one. Also, just a word of warning, make sure you pick up the collectibles if you happen to die. Once you encounter the doctor, he will give you some few things in here. Uh, one is going to be a, a hacking cable. Once we gain that cable... Go back through the door you came through and hack this door. Once you hack the door, go inside to find the old newspaper. This should be file number two. So where the doctor we spoke with through the intercom Go for the door to the right. Kill the zombie in front of you. And go for the door to the right. This should be the relax room. Upon going through the door, you will fight another zombie in this area. Next to the locked locker, you will find the locker booklet. In the next doorway, you will find the fire system note. This should be file number four. So this is located in the reception room area. Ow, I just kick my leg. <sighs> Report on VJ02 file. Located in room 10, as you proceed on with the main story, the doctor will tell you to go to his room anyway, and you will find a secret wall. This is part of the story, so you have to go inside. Once you've done this, you will find the document or the file number 5 located on the desk, and also you'll find the ID number 1, well, it's part of the main story, so you have to grab it anyway. And this should be ID tag number one. Make sure you save the game and carry on. Now, from room 10, we need to go find room 12. In that room, you will find the audio log or audio file number 10, uh, not number 10, sorry, number one. So number 12 is located on the same side as number 10. So go to the far left hand side. Once you leave room 10, you will find room number 12. Once you come in, you will find zombie here getting up. Kick his ass. And grab the audio number one located on the bedside table in front of the bed. So now we're going to do audio number two. Once we go into the boiler room, once again, all this is part of the story. And most of it is, uh, you can't go wrong. Now, like I said, once you go into the boiler room, you'll find the dead zombie on the ground. Next to him, you'll find the audio number two. Now, from the same location, this time we're going to go into the archive area. Archive. 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 So once again, this is all part of the story. So find the secret room. Once again, the doctor tells you where to go. All you've got to do is follow his instructions. Once you enter, make sure you pick up this file because this room does get exploded 
or sorry, the room blows up Looks eventually, like so you can't proceed back to this sort. area ever again. The so very important. So once you go into the garage, uh, you will find a personal ID located on the floor next to a dead zombie. So this should be file number nine. File number seven. Once you have got the key or the closet key from the scientist on the floor after speaking with the doctor, you will find the guard's diary located in his room and a pair of pliers that is part of the story. Dear number two or three, once you go back to the garden, You'll have to use the um, the pincers or pliers, whatever they're called, or chain cutters, however you want to call them. But once you go in the main garden section, in the left side in the middle, you will find your deer number two. Now from the same location, if you look to the right of you, you'll find another dead scientist zombie, or a doctor, or a military guy. One of the three is correct. And you'll find file number eight. Now, once you get into the old maternity, this uh, bubble head is located in the sequence when the screen goes pretty damn dark. And it's a small sequence. Well, sequence. Once you have done that, I uh, don't finish the sequence, by the way. If you finish it, then you can't get the collectible. As soon as it triggers, uh, eventually down the line, you will see like a baby crib or cot um, in the middle of the room with all the lights on towards it. Uh, that's pretty much telling you where to go. But once you do see that, if you look to the right, you should hopefully hear it in here already. But you should see this one on the wheelchair. So like I said, if you go towards the light, uh, you cannot get this deer. Now, Dr. Krimble's letter. Or Kimball's letter, sorry. Not Krimble's. Once again, this file is pretty much part of the story. So once you follow the Doctor's rules again, or the next side mission he sends you on, once you enter this next secret code or next room, you will find the letter on the side there. Now, ID tag number two. Once you have done everything the doctor asked, you have to go back into the room now. You can gain access to this room. Once you go inside, look to the right, you'll find ID tag number two. This one took forever to find. But thank God, I don't know how many times I went past that body. And then once we get to the morgue, this is literally the end of this level. And should transfer you guys into chapter three soon. So once you go through the morgue, and leave the double doors. Directly in front of you on the box, you will find your audio number three. I'll see you guys and gals in chapter three.